Well, Jesus is spending time with his people. The crowds are gathering around him. And the disciples are mingling kind of like, like groupies at a, with a rock band, taking care of all the stuff that it takes to keep a group moving and fed and all that good stuff. And he kind of like being part of his entourage, but these are just regular guys. They're not, they're not fancy, holy people with glowing heads and you know, great theological treatises under their arms. They're just regular guys. And they're hanging out with Jesus. And Jesus is with the crowds. And he's talking and he's listening to them. And he's proclaiming God's word to them. And uh, uh, the disciples, many of them are just standing in the background watching. They've seen this before. And, and the people are coming up to Jesus. And some of them are coming up to the disciples. Wow. You're with Jesus. Yeah. Wow. He's an amazing guy. Yeah. Wow, he heals people. Yeah, watch. And then he does. And it is amazing. And the people who crowd around Jesus are pie-eyed. And they're touched by what's happening. Now the disciples have seen this a lot. And after not too long a period of time, they, they get a little bit bored. Because this stuff that Jesus does becomes a little bit old hat, a little bit unremarkable. One of them calls out, Jesus, we're hungry. Let's go get something to eat. Now here's Jesus in the middle of, of giving people this sweet news that God is with them. Of pouring into these people that this, this water of living life. People that had no idea what they were missing. People whose religion keeps them away from God because it's so convoluted and difficult and godless. And Jesus is is in the middle of what he's called to do. And his the followers, his closest followers are saying, hey, you know what? Let's, let's go to McDonald's. And then Jesus is discouraged. And he says, you know what? Here I am doing this, and, and all they can do is think of their stomachs. I need to do something to get their attention. And so he does. It's a warm, sunny spring day. And the flowers are poking out of the warm soil and the green grass is carpeting the hills of the Holy Land. And there's a path up the hill and Jesus says to three of his followers, hey, let's go for a walk. Sure, they say. Nothing uncommon about the four of us hanging out. We've hung out in other parts of, of, the, of our journey together. And besides, it would be refreshing to be away from the, the crowds and the throngs and the noise and the demands. And so they begin to walk up the hill. And it is a beautiful day. The sky is blue. There are puffy clouds. It's warm. And they begin to walk on up this hill together, and the three of them are ribbing each other on some of the goofy things that they've done in the last few weeks, and talking about events of the day. And as they near the summit, the warm sun falls on their faces, and the vista of the hills roll before them off to the plains of Negev. And the grass is freshly green because it's been raining at this time of the year and the flowers are popping up in various parts of the hills. And Jesus stops and he says, wait here. And the three of them stop and then Jesus
Jesus begins to slowly walk on a little ways. And Peter begins to drone on again with some goofy story because he's always talking about something. And then it happens. Everything stops. And there is a stillness that falls on them that seems to last for an eternity. And they lift their eyes to their friend. And as they catch Jesus' eyes, they realize they're staring at him. And as they stare at him, he is being, being changed. He's being, he's being transformed in, uh, into a, a different color, uh, uh, an unnatural shade of white. And his clothes begin to, to, to blaze, almost to the point where they want to turn their eyes away from him. But before they do, he catches their eyes and his eyes say, watch me. Now, confused and caught in his gaze, they stop breathing for a second and gasp, what, what, are, what, are, we, what are we seeing here? What is happening? And then suddenly a a man appears from nowhere and walks over to Jesus. And Jesus greets him with a soft smile and says, Hello, my friend, Moses. And they begin talking. And then another man appears and walks to the two of them. And Jesus turns and says, Shalom. And the three of them begin conversation of serious nature. And the disciples watching this swallow in disbelief and confusion. What is happening here? Before they can figure out what is happening, the ground begins to rumble and the sky pinches and a roaring wind rushes down on them and pounds on them as boiling thunderheads rise into the sky and eclipse the sun and the temperature drops and they are now not only confused but now terrified and they're wondering what to do or say, and they freeze. Now Peter, always needing to do something, blurts out, Lord, this is, this is great. We'll build you some tents here. Jesus just ignores his words. And they fall into the increasingly rushing wind. And then suddenly, that wind turns to what feels like stone, as again everything stops. And then a pummeling sound comes down and digs into their very bodies vibrating every organ of them, and they fall to the ground in fear, bury their noses in the still warm dirt, and feel this booming voice penetrate to their very being, and they hear the words, this is my son, my chosen one, listen. vibrating and they fear they are about to be burned alive or crushed by the power of it all and they hold their breath and clench their fingers and the gentle voice says friends hey get up let's get down before it gets dark and they open their eyes and they swallow, and they begin to lift their heads carefully, and 
all they see is sunshine as it falls on their face. And they smell the fresh grass. And they see their friend Jesus walking down the trail, holding his hand out and brushing the tops of the grass on the edge of the trail. What just happened? And then he stops. And he turns towards this doubting, confused group of men cowering on the ground. And he says, come on. Let's get down off this mountain. We have, we have stuff to do. And they blink. And they get up. And they amble off to him. And Jesus smiles as he walks down the trail. Confused disciples didn't tell him. And he says to himself, I think we got their attention. Do we see what's going on here? Do we see what's going on here? Because Jesus is here. Doing remarkable things here in our lives, in our daily experiences. Things that sometimes we don't pay attention to. Sometimes that we find are easy to ignore or not notice. Things that can be easily taken for granted. Sunday we come in here and you hear words that change you and change your relationship with God and with each other. Monday you, you, you have a friend who comes up to you and spends time with you because God has put that person in your life to care for and to affirm you. Tuesday, you do a Bible study and you open those words and they speak to you, speak truth to you. Wednesday, you go to the doctor and he gives you medicine, a gift from God to serve a need of yours. It comes not from the doctor, but from God through the doctor. Thursday, you go to a Bible study. There's a community that God has gathered around you for you to serve you. Friday, you go to the store and you give them money and they give you food which sustains you, a gift from God. He works through that store. Saturday, your world goes to hell in a handbasket. You have a tragedy. You have a crisis. You have a horrible event. And you have nowhere to turn but to the Lord who's there with you. Listening. Caring. That is the Jesus who is in your life. That is the Jesus who we know. That is the Lord who is healing and freeing and guiding and comforting us. The one who is so easy to take for granted. The one who it's so easy to say, well, this is old hat and remarkable. I, I, I don't care about that. I'm just kind of hungry right now. Do we see that? Do we see that He is here? He is with you in your moments of strength and confidence, in your moments of struggle and confusion, in your moments of loneliness and failure. Whether or not you're noticing it, He is here. Notice it. Today, here, here that our Lord is with you. Today, taste, feel the presence of Him when you come to the table. Today, know He looks at you and He says, Come on, let's get down from this hill. We have some stuff to do. Do you see what's going on? He's really here. He is really with you. He is really in your presence. And he is really saying, come on. Let's get off this place. Let's go do some stuff. 
I'm here to do it with you. See him. He is with you. Be blessed this week as you bless that in Jesus' name. Amen.